It says, I'm live. Hello, everybody. Good evening and greetings from Pelican Headquarters in Flagami, Miami, Florida. Let me turn all my screens here. Well, my one screen, but I put my windows up here. I hope you can hear me okay. I do believe that I, that I, um, that I hook this up properly today. Give me a second here because it's uh, it's been one of those days. Yeah, it should sound good uh, with this uh, with the with the old audio technique. Hello, everybody! Happy Friday! How's everybody doing? Uh, I might be over modulating here a little bit. Let me lower a little bit. Um, hello, Brandon Stargell, CLT, Mr. CLT in the house, culture, lifestyle, travel, uh, Lucky Dog Production moderator. And uh, say hi to Traveling Robert. We've got a great community here. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Thank you for being here. Uh, Dan, the Vintage Arvier, Jonas, Bruce Prentice, Dylan Reynolds in the house, Joe Van, uh, Lucky Dog Productions, of course, our friend uh, uh, Rob from um, you're in the land or in, uh, you know, near Daytona, anyways. <laughs> The land, uh, Marzon Worldwide, uh, Mark Darden, Team Oregon's Adventures, pa Paula Ambrose, RV Fox. I'm, I'm pretty soon. I'm not gonna be able to read the chat, but I'm I'm doing my best now. Donovan Davis, any plan to hit the Big Bend National Park in Texas? Not right now. I hear it's open, but um, hello, Mary Callan. I'm trying to say hello to the to the me members and patrons here and. Um, uh, probably not Big Ben. This probably 100 degrees out there right now. I might uh, go uh, in the winter, and that's the idea. Uh, on the next uh, trip to the west, uh, riding to the west, into the sunset. Um, that that might be the you know I'm, as I said I want to take US 95. You know very you know kind of kind of hugging the Mexican border. And that's where, where I'm going to go there. Hey, Rebecca Hernandez. Hey, Kathleen Dons Donzali from Illinois. And uh, Pat Hopi. Hi, Robert. Uh, traveling Robert, I used a nano tape to hang things in our trailer. That tape is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I, I've been using uh, something similar before that was like, there were like pads, but I, I learned it from another RV channel. What's his, what's his, uh, it's all about RVs, I think. And, um, you know, it, it, he, he made a list like of his favorite RV products. You know, credit, yeah, you know, when I, when I see somebody else doing something that I like, I copy it. Of course, Tim Kennedy, thank you so much. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing great. Um, I don't know, a little low energy today, but I, I'm fine. You know, it's Friday and um, I've been, I've been, I, today I actually kind of took the day off. Thank you, Robert Powell, for that super sticker. Thank you so much. And, um, yeah, I haven't I haven't done much today, to be honest. It's been one of those days that uh, it's been kind of like a like a slow week. Let's put it that way. Um, the Adventures of Apple and Rob love the shirt. Yeah, thank you. I got this one at the Johnson Space Center up there in, in Houston. And Dan the Vintage RVer, thank you so much for that super chat. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. And before before I forget, because I went to the P.O. box yesterday and I got a bunch of stuff. But before that, hold on. Let me get my, my Romulan Ale bottle opener here. And today we're not drinking IPA. Today we're drinking, and it's, if you know me uh, for a while, we're drinking the beer that eventually got me into ales and eventually into India Pale Ales. The Accessible Traveler, thank you so much for that super chat. Happy Friday to you and everyone in the community. Thank you so much. And Robert Hubbard, thank you so much for that super chat. Are we meeting for the Mini Tini Lounge? Yes, uh, most likely. I'm 99% I'm yes. This is what we're drinking tonight. This is a Belgian ale. At um, Oh, man, why, why is this camera not... This is actually re really a really good stuff, uh, brewed by the by the Trappist monks in Belgium. So, cheers, everybody! Oh, I have a I actually have a matching glass. This is Chimay, and this is actually not the one that got me into it. This is like the Grand Reserve, which is a, a little even better. But I don't know if I told you the story. Jason Bergeron, thank you so much for that super chat. Uh, great to be here this evening. Hold on. 
Can't wait to get home and pull the Earth stream out. Cheers. And that's the IP. What's the IPA tonight? Well, as I said, this is not really an IPA. It's something a little different. But I don't know if uh, I've told you the story, but for those of you who are new, I was at this party. Um, I don't even remember. The guy never called me again. I guess I drank too much beer at the party. But I was at this party, you know, it was like kind of like lounge music and they were doing a beer tasting. And they have all kinds of common stuff, you know, like Stella and, uh, you know, mass-produced stuff. And then they had this stuff called Shimei. And I tasted this. And once I tasted this, um, I'm like, hmm, this is it. Yeah. And it's one of those things. It's 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 all, it's all it's very malty. It's kind of one of those things. It's like one of those, um, you know, like... Uh, it is very. It goes down very smooth. Uh, Frank Hampel, do, don't you like any domestic beers? I do. I mean, most of what I drink is domestic beer. I like the the the, the local craft beers uh, from. So it's it's even more than domestic. It's local. I, I I'm, lately I try to to drink uh, most mostly locals. I don't I don't even drink much much imported anymore, uh, to be honest. Um, so. Um, uh, I changed my plans for the summer. You did, Dylan. What did you do? Um, um, Piper City Gamer, the Trappist make it here in Massachusetts, also in Spencer. Uh, yeah, I like this stuff. So um, be before I continue, uh, do you think you'll ever travel across Canada? Well, I did. I, uh, I, wanna, I, I, I did, of course, go to Vancouver and Victoria uh, last year, but... That was the plan this year, uh, but the, the, the border is still closed, and I wouldn't know when when that is gonna uh, open back up. But if not this year, next year, I, I want to do the Trans Canada from Vancouver to to the Maritimes or back and forth. I don't know which way I'm gonna go. <coughs> Excuse me. Before I, before I continue, let me show you what I got. I went to the to the um, to the post office yesterday to the PO box, and I got a bunch of stuff. So I wanted to show it to you guys. Because you know it's it's kind of like Christmas in in May, right? And actually, this one I got I, I forgot when when he sent it to me. A very nice gentleman, Glenn from here from South Florida. He sent me these flashlights, which are really cool. But because oh, because you can put a it's like a flat regular flashlight, but then you can also use it like a lamp, you know, like a like a floodlight. So this is pretty cool. I got this a couple of weeks ago, and I had forgotten to show them to you guys. And now let me show you. I have a couple, a bunch of letters. This one from Jim and Chris from uh, Williamsburg, Michigan. And, you know, I, 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 I'm i getting lots of letters. And I apologize since if, if I don't uh, 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 reply to all of them, like in, in, via snail mail. But, um, but I really appreciate each one of them, especially uh, uh, ones that come with, with uh, like... Um, Old-fashioned super, super chats. <laughs> this one comes from Gordon and Barb. And um, and there's no birds. They spend half of the time in Indiana, half the time in Arizona. So thank you so much. And thank you so much uh, for for your donation. I really appreciate it. And, um, and um, let me show you. I have a couple more. I have a couple more. And then... I'm going to answer all your questions here in the chat. Um, Amaranto, are you, you have plans for Alaska or are you still going to the Keys? Let me tell you something. My, my reservations at uh, Bahia Honda State Park got canceled. Okay, this one also comes with uh, from Alina Ostrowska and, and she's sent me st uh, donations before. This one also comes with a, with a check donation. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And... Uh, and by the way, if you want to send me stuff, doesn't have to be checked. Anything you want to send me, that's the, the my, my P.O. Box address there. I love receiving stuff. And uh, hold on, give me give me a couple of minutes here before I finish. This one this one also came with a with a donation. And this one's from Linda, Linda and Steve. And Linda and Steve, um they're I don't know if they, they were able to to return to here we go. Your RV friends, Linda and Steve, they, they were in Dunedin. I don't know if they were able to return to New England or if they're still here. I don't think they, uh, they, um, no, they didn't, they didn't uh, specify. 
Uh, we have one from Karen Luck, another letter. Thank you so much. And this one is a, it's a very long, beautiful, beautiful handwriting, by the way. And uh, Luis Souza, thank you so much for that super chat. I'm almost done, guys. I'm almost done. But I wanted, I wanted to go through the mailbag just, uh, just to show you guys. And this one, we got a, I got a sticker from Where RV Staying. Here you go. Where RV and, and he has a YouTube channel and, and he was uh, kind of not doing it anymore. And I think he's starting to, to make videos again. So thank you so much for your sticker. Uh, where RV staying from from Michigan also you know all of a sudden I have a lot of viewers uh, from Michigan uh, Jason Bergeron I have a couple of challenge coins for you from the US Embassy Ira Iraq to send you when I get home oh, that, would, that would be awesome thank you so much really appreciate it man and St Stephen Stephen Fisher greetings from Colorado Springs yeah I believe Colorado is still close to visitors oh one more thing and this, you know, the, the U.S. Postal Service, not always uh, reliable. The zip code is cut off. Whoops. Are you sure? Let me see. How about now? Or maybe I'll put it down here like a... There you go. Daniel Ruiz, thank you so much for that super chat. Have you ever had Pliny the Elder? No, I haven't, actually. Well, this uh, this it wasn't the in the uh, in the post office for for two months. Uh, apparently, they sent it two months ago, and I never received it. And now it came in it's some Dutch chocolate rogue cocoa. It's a it's a. And uh, thank you so much for trying rogue cocoa. Please let us know your thoughts. And you know, it's, it's the maker of this. It's a, it's a caffeinated a cocoa drink with dairy-free ve ve vegan and natural cocoa i'm gonna give it a shot I, you know I, I like to try things and then last but not least this heavy box right here by the way it came broken but um, nothing fell off it's from diane keller from helena montana and she sent me all kinds of uh, literature and books and stuff about her home state of montana which, of course, I barely scratched the surface. The correct zip code is 33114 uh, Amaranto for the P.O. Box. And yeah, she sent me I like all kinds of books about Yellowstone National Park and Glacier National Park. I'm going to read all this stuff because if all goes well, if the country finally gets opened up, I, I am planning on going to um, to Glacier. And uh, yeah, I saw this and I saw this. Yes, I'm sorry I've been neglecting the, the chat. But I wanted to share with you, you know, because I really love receiving stuff like that on the mail. Um, uh, where were we? Where were we? 481, 483 of you uh, watching from all over the place. I wanted to share with you guys also something that uh, that actually... Ely uh, discovered and uh, I think it's gonna come in handy uh, these days and it's this map and I'm gonna put a, a, a link in the chat because I, th I think it's a it's a very good resource here and um, and what it does it shows a by the way pa pa oh what happened here in the chat uh, while I was away <laughs> Paula Ambras, thank you so much for that super sticker. Keep it up. But hold on, I have to change cameras here. Uh, super sticker and, and Matt Caldwell. Hello from Connecticut. We love the keys. Thank you so much, Matt. Thank you for that super chat. And uh, Alberto Sami Pereira. Thank you so much for that super chat. All right. And uh, Logan, thank you so much for that super chat. <laughs> But in any case, I wanted to share that resource with you guys. It's a map, and it tells you the, the whatever states are open or closed, and it goes it, very, very granular down to, like, counties and states, and it tells you what's going on, and then it tells you where, where there are roadblocks. For example, U.S. 1 southbound going into the Keys is closed, and, for example, coming into Florida, uh, I-95 southbound, and it even shows, like, the like the tribal lands in, in South Dakota, 
that you know they, they they're having roadblocks. You know, it's a good resource. I mentioned it this morning in the podcast. By the way, if you're not subscribed to the podcast, check it out. Um, and uh, and what did I do here? You know, this computer is like on its last leg. <laughs> uh, but in any case, thank you so much. Let me let me go come back here to the chat. And um, <clears throat> Logan, thank you so much for that super chat. And uh, all right, let me answer some of your questions here. Um, uh, Peter Brill, are you going to have a chance now to go to Crater Lake? I hope to uh, you get there. Uh, what a beautiful place. It, it all depends. And by the way, Rock Arrow, thank you so much for becoming a chief pelican head. Thank you. And it depends. And as I show you on the map, you know, I'm going to try to zigzag through the country. See the places that are open. I don't know if I want to go to the other side of the country to go that far away. So I'm going to play by ear. I'm going to play by ear and and see. Right now in the in, in June, by the way, my, my res, I had reservations at Bahia Honda uh, um, State Park. And since the keys are closed, they... Uh, they got uh, they got canceled, but I have actually I'm in early June. I'm going back to Matlache, believe it or not. The, the the owner of the of the Sugar Sands uh, RV resort he contacted me and he said, you know, that he really liked the the video that I made four years ago, and uh, he wanted me to to come back. So, uh, where were we? Hello from the uh, Adirondack Mountains of New York. I want to go there, uh, hopefully this summer. And that, that's the thing. I'm, I'm going to try to stay probably east of the Mississippi for the most part. Or right on the Mississippi, you know, or just west of the Mississippi. And I do want to go to North Dakota because it's the one state uh, in that area, that, that gaping hole in the middle of my map. But de it all depends. I might go into Montana, but we'll see. Uh, Yahaira Marchetti, thank you so much for that super chat. You inspired us uh, uh, getting a mini tinny, but is it true that they swirl in the winds? We have a Honda Odyssey. Uh, we'll be okay to tow the 19 foot 3,500 pounds. Uh, the Odyssey might be a little underpowered. I don't know. The Odyssey, what was the, the Honda Odyssey? Rated is it 3,500 um, pounds? And this is, of course, a an estimate because Google doesn't 3,500. You're gonna be like me with old Kia, and uh, and you might get away with it in in places like Florida, which is flat and and you know taking it slow, but. Um, yeah, it's you, you. You're gonna be pushing that Honda Odyssey to to its to its limit. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. It's one of those things. Don't do don't do as I did. Do as I say. Uh, I I did it at the time, but eventually I had to buy a truck, and um, and that's the uh, that's what it is. In, uh, uh, says, oh, I have so many um, messages here. Oh, Eli says that the. Zip code is wrong on the screen? No, it's 33114. The PO box is 33114. Um, <clears throat> Papa Drew RV. Hello there. The F-16 fighter just did a fly over. Very, very cool. Well, we had the we had the Blue Angels here. Um let me let me turn this off here. We had the Blue Angels here uh, uh, a couple of days ago, uh, you know, flying over Miami. Oh, I wanted to show you something too, something that uh, our friends from Ohio, Jim and Barb, uh, sent me, and uh, they're 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 thinking of doing a T-shirt uh, design. What do you guys think of this? And if this camera would only focus, it would be like amazing. It's the it's the reflection. Hold on. Ah, it doesn't want to do it now, does it? There you go. 
In any case, it's the Pelican and Traveling Robert. I don't know if you guys think that would be a cool uh, design. Let me know. Uh, three, two, one adventures. Uh, oh man, we are late getting into the live chat today. Oh, we're just getting started here tonight. Uh, Hi, Marchetti. Thank you, Robert. No, you're very welcome. And as a first way, and I didn't finish answering the question, you get yourself a good, uh, um, if, if, especially if you're going to try and do it with, with the Odyssey. I I mean, if you if you can afford to get a truck or, 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 a, or a larger SUV, something at least capable of 5,000 pounds, I would, because these trailers are three thirty five hundred 3,500 uh, dry and get yourself a good weight distribution hitch uh, with a sway control. Matt RV Reviews, thank you so much for that super chat. Man, I'm going to start jumping like you do in your videos. A super chat to the coolest, uh, most humble YouTuber in the game. Thank you so much for everything you do, Robert. No, thank you. Thank you for being here, man. I really appreciate it. Um, um, love it. The Pelican is cute. I was a Yellowstone video. We think uh, we might go in July. So you guys like the T-shirt? Thank you. I'm not getting. I, I don't. I don't. It, you know the the, the thing with the, the only thing with that T-shirt is that that uh, either I or, or Jim would have to ship it from home. And that's the one thing that I'm like, um, it's uh, it's very, t it's, 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 shipping from home is a very time consuming process. So we'll see, we'll see what we can do. Uh, Steve Halterman, thank you so much for that super chat. Do you need more IPA for your fridge? I always need more IPA, man, thank you. But to today we're drinking actually a Trappist ale from Belgium. I decided to go, you know, imported. This is Chimay, which is, uh, just because I, I saw it at the liquor store and I said, yeah, I'm, that's for all time's sake, let's, let's get that. If I run out of, of Chimay, I have IPAs back there. Uh, what is the longest you've driven without stopping to rest besides, besides gas stops? Oh, man, I don't know. You guys do the math. I um, the, 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 the longest, I've done three very long drives. Once I drove from Charleston, South Carolina, all the way to Miami on one go. I drove from Minneapolis, Minnesota to St. Louis, Missouri, once on one go. And then from St. Louis, which we're going to see that video this Sunday. That, that's the double feature for this weekend, by the way. I haven't, I haven't told you guys yet. And third, um, that will be from from St. Louis to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and those probably are the the the, the longest uh, three drives that I done. Usually, my limit is about four hundred drive four hundred miles, which is like half a Texas. That would be like like from hold on, hold on. I have a private message here from from our our uh, my. Uh, from our mighty moderators, CLT. And my mom is here. Hey, everybody say hello to my mom. Hi, everybody. Greetings from Miami. Love, mom. Yes. Papa Drew wants to know. Oh, the, 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 the link for the map of the open states. I'll, I'll share it again here on the chat. Oops. That's it. <clears throat> and it's like a triple A map. So, uh. I think, but yeah, I think it's a, it's, it's a good resource. I mean, I was looking for it and, and Ely is the best at doing this sort of thing, at doing research and, and finding uh, things, you know, so whenever I, it, it, she, she's better than me at, at that, uh, uh, for sure, and other things. Uh, Lisa Na Nadolski, thank you so much for that super sticker. Oh man, those are the, the cool, the cool uh, glasses. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Let me see. Let me see. And uh, Brandon Stargell. Thank you, my Mrs. Morales. Yeah, my mom is here. My mom. Oh, by the way, double feature. Before I answer. Um, I drove from Baltimore to Branson in one go. That That's a long drive. I have no idea how many miles is that, but I'm sure it's more than 600 miles. Um, but then again. Actually, the longest I've driven is without the trailer. When I went to pick up Mini Tini 2, I drove from Miami to Atlanta in one go and then from Atlanta to Elkhart, Indiana in another go. Th those are even longer. The double feature this weekend, you're getting two videos, two for the price of one. And it's actually one of the videos 
Uh, I was uh, I was uh, planning on releasing last Wednesday, Wednesday and for some reason I, I couldn't. So I'm, I'm, tomorrow morning we're getting one video, Iowa, and Sunday morning we're getting another video, uh, Minneapolis, and uh, that's how we're doing it this weekend. And uh, then for the for oh man, I really hope my barber opens next week uh, because you know it's a. Uh, Maybe maybe I'll let it grow again, like 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 in, in 2011. Papa Drew RV, traveling Robert. Thank you for the link. I am going to use it and credit you for sharing it. If that's okay, yeah, for, uh, absolutely. Uh, you you're very welcome. I actually thank Ely. Uh, Tidwell travels, LJ Georgia from the North Georgia Mountains. Love your videos. I, actually, and that's one of the first things that I'm going to do now. Uh, I'm gonna spend probably most of June in Florida. I'm I'm trying some of the state parks. And then, as, as 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 you all know, hey, this traveler, howdy there in Central Florida, and uh, uh, England, Florida in the summer is miserable, mosquitoes and it's humid and hot. But I'm gonna try to work my way in, in, in through Georgia and maybe late June, er, early what comes after June, July, early July, uh, be in Georgia. I also want want to be with Ely for her and my birthdays, so we'll see. Uh, what's going on uh, as you know last year we celebrated both our birthdays in early july in las vegas so um and she's fresh out of vacation time it's the the, the, the situation at her job is not the best so um we'll see uh, simply extreme media by the way uh, you guys and this is uh, this is a uh, you know when i see a good idea i copy it shamelessly and i saw this idea from uh, rv lifestyle if you if it's a comment and uh, it's gonna be easier for my eyes to to see it. it just type comment in all caps. And if it is, uh, and if it is a question, just type question in all caps uh, in this in the chat. And do like an at traveling Robert even better, because that does um, make it easier uh, for me to see it. And Robert uh, got your CD in the mail today. Being traveling, jamming in my car all day. All right, thank you so much. And by the way, uh, today and I haven't put it on the merch page yet, but I started uh, selling mugs as well. I put it on the Facebook group. It was actually an idea one, from from one of you guys. Uh, this lady, she 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 asked, you know, if I had mugs, and I'm like, you know, it's it's, it's a simple idea. So I went to the same people that make the T-shirts to to Teespring, and. Uh, and they make mugs too. It's a kind of a small mug. It's not like one of those huge mugs. And um, and Ely had a great idea today. When, when maybe we can make like beer glasses with my, you know, that that's like another uh, one for the future. Um, um, Brandon Stargell, maybe we can meet at one of uh, Georgia State Park campgrounds. We are planning on doing a lot of state park camping this summer. IPAs are on me. That would be great, and I was I was checking out some of the the campgrounds where I might want to um, go. And in, in June is pretty uh, is pretty much no, is it June? No, May. The rest of May is pretty much booked, but uh, June seems pretty wide open. So that's kind of what I what I what I want to do. Dylan, uh, um, do you know any new songs for the concert tomorrow? Not not really, man. I I'm, I haven't been uh, uh, working on that. Uh, and at my age, it's hard kind of like to, to learn new songs, let me tell you. Not that I'm that old, but uh, when I was younger, I w it was like that. And now I just have to read the lyrics. Marzon Worldwide, thank you so much for that super chat. Raise a glass, Robert. Cheers. A toast to everyone at hospitals, supermarkets, first responders. And, uh, and uh, how important you are to all of us. God bless you all. Amen, brother. Th cheers to, to everybody who, who is uh, working you know, so so we can stay home, right? So yeah, absolutely. How do you feel about um, this love bug this year? They're so bad. I, you know, there are no love bugs in Miami, at least not 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 in the area where I live. In fact, I didn't know about love bugs until I started RVing and I went to the, the this campground on, on our second voyage uh, in in Wachula, Florida, and and I, and I even mentioned it on the video, and then everybody started commenting. Well. I didn't have as many people commenting back then, but everybody is commenting. No, those are called love bugs. And I'm like, oh, cool. So I didn't know. Uh, RV weekends. Uh, where are we? We have an extra week in Bahia in August. We booked three weeks, so we have to cancel the third week. Let us know. 
Oh, man, I don't know if I'm going to be down here in August. But if I am, man, yeah, I would absolutely love that. Uh, by a Honda State Park. It's very hard to 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 find a... You know, one of these days, I wanna, is, is it site 13 or 15? Those that are like right next to the water there. One of these days, I'm going to... I'm going to get one of those. PDX transplant. Uh, if you get bored and aren't traveling, will you do an outtakes video of your travels? That would be fun to watch. Yeah, absolutely. And I've done some of those. Um, not too many, actually. Not as many as I would like to for, for the for the patrons and the members. But um, Jang Lee girl, I would buy traveling rubber beer coffee cup. Yeah. At Dylan, are you doing Zoom for the concert tomorrow? Probably not. I'm just going to do regular, like the, the regular concert that I've been doing every Saturday. Probably the last one for a while. So it's going to be like the, the last concert for a while. Uh, Radu Stoforak, uh, best regards, Robert. I ordered a Pelican t-shirt about a month ago. I'm still w uh, waiting for it. Probably delayed in the mail since it's coming from Europe. Do contact them. One of my, I ordered, I ordered one t-shirt from them and it got lost on the mail. Do, do this, the, the extended tracking and it goes like, does a track I, I think some of them have gotten lost in the mail contact them and they will they will reprint it and resend it to you they have really good customer service but they've they've run into a couple of snags in this past couple of months uh, mo mainly because of the uh, and i don't know why they would ship a t-shirt from europe when you can print it here but that's you know uh, whatever they're doing but usually, for the most part, they, they are great and they ship uh, rather quickly. It's just uh, lately, I don't know what's going on. So if, if anybody has that problem, uh, uh, do contact them. Jim, Jim Forry from uh, the great land of Ohio. We are home now. Always seem to be out on the road when you go live. Well, welcome to the chat, man. And I doubt I'm going to be able to see you this year uh, up in Ohio because... Uh, I hear things are still kind of locked down, but who knows? Maybe in a year, in a month, everything is going to be great, right? Uh, Tracy's channel. Be careful wearing beer goggles. They can get you in trouble. Go really? Uh, hey, Caleb. Caleb Jackson. Hello there. And uh, J Cam, thank you so much for that super sticker. Yay. All right. RV44, hey, come to Orlando. You'll see love bugs here. Just don't wear white. I know, man. I have to get in touch with you guys. One of these days, I'm going to interview you for the podcast. I have to I have to get that together, get my act together. And uh, <clears throat> uh, Glamp, Glamper Jan, I put your sticker on my camper right by the door. So I see it every time I come in. Happy trails. Happy trails to you. And Traveling Robert Coffee Mug, uh, Traveling Robert on one side, IPA only. On other oh that would be good i could i could do like like an ipa version of the one that i have right now yeah um question do you have a list and rating of all the campsites you have stayed at <laughs> looking for a good beach front in the state of uh, i'm not that organized you you give me way too much credit <laughs> um but if money is no object uh, obviously camp golf by the way i'm 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 trying i'm hunting i'm hunting for great beach uh, and Henderson Beach uh, up in the in the in the Panhandle, and uh, what's the one? What's the one near Flagler Beach? I'm I'm hunting those uh, three uh, state parks because those are supposed to be some of the best. Um, Jason Bergeron uh, um, comment: We are looking at the Grand Teton and Yellowstone this summer. Yellowstone is reopening 18 May on a limited base. Hopefully, they will be fully open by the time we get to go. And um, hey, David Tarquin from Queensboro. And uh, th this is the thing with if you go in an RV, you don't. I mean, I, I heard that from Lolojo uh, uh, about a month ago that that the hotels like the lodges, like the, the Jackson Lake and the Jenny Lake, uh, the, 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 none of that stuff is going to open this summer. But if you go in the RV and you're able to stay at the campground, and you have your own food, you know, and, and if the trails are open, you're going to get 90% of the experience, you know. Um, Tori Dwyer, thank you so much for that super chat. Love your videos. Any plans to travel to Hawaii? One, some, one of these days. Uh, no immediate plans. No immediate plans. Uh, at some point, I, um, I want to go. Absolutely. <clears throat> uh, 
Jack Barber, uh, do you avoid tolls when traveling? If I'm not in a hurry, I, I do, but I'm usually in a hurry, as, as you know, probably from my videos. I'm trying to cover as much land as possible in as little uh, possible time. And in some areas like the Northeast, it's virtually impossible to avoid them. Uh, but sometimes I do. Oh my gosh, Bonnie Richica. Rich, 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 Thank you so much for that. I have to... Super chat. <coughs> my voice is cold. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, we love Henderson, Henderson Beach. Go at least once. Yes, I do. I, I That's one of those bucket list places. Uh, Papa Drew RV. We got beach camping on the 29th. Are so, so looking forward to sticking our feet in the sand and having a beer. Uh, two or three. <laughs> yeah, beaches here in, in South Florida are still closed. Um, as you know, Florida is one thing, and Southeast Florida, like Palm Beach, Broward, and Miami-Dade counties are a whole different state almost. So, yeah, it's still pretty... Uh, but May 20th, which happens to be the, the Cuban Independence Day, for, for reason, I don't know if they did it on purpose or not. May 20th, they're opening the restaurants at 50%, and hopefully my barber, Papo Estilo, he will uh, open up and... and and I'll be able to, to, to do something about this. And Michael Kluckner, thank you so much for that super sticker. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, Traveling Rob, is the Midnight Sun Festival canceled? I have no idea, but I haven't checked because um, Alaska is canceled. So, you know, I haven't checked. Hey, Jim, Robert, Ohio Campgrounds open May 21st. Uh, and uh, for you, that will be that will work out for us in Ohio. Not as much since we are not gathered with others at other sites. Putin Bay opened this weekend to visitors. Oh, Putin Bay opened. That's great news, man. But I'm sure like the bars are gonna be like super limited. I mean, uh, a place like Putin Bay, uh, if you have to keep the social distance and beat them, feet up. What's the fun in that? But you know, at, at least they're opening. You know. And that, that's a good thing. Gamble Rogers, thank you very much, RV Weekends. That's the one that I've been I've been trying to, to get in there. You know, I've been trying to get in there since a long time. Uh, that's the and th there's a private RV resort. It's go it's called the Beverly Beach, I believe. I'm gonna try to get into that one because the, the thing with Florida in the summer is you know, beach going to the beach is fine, but by the way, does it sound okay? I hear some background noise. Sometimes, and I'm not monitoring, and sometimes this microphone makes some noise. I don't think it's making it now. In any case, I continue. I continue reading uh, your comments here. Question. A, uh, a. M. I am a year behind on the podcast. Are you going to Quartzsite next year? Yes, I'm, I'm most likely, uh, if, if the virus goes away, of course, I'm going to Quartzsite, yes. Um... Did you ever get a refund from the, from the KOA that, no, I never got a refund? And, you know, I'm, I'm like a Pumba and Timon. You have to put your behind in your past or your past behind you. And, you know, I, I, in the end, uh, it's their loss. They're, they, they probably lost, lost more than I did. And uh, forget about it, you know. Like Donny Brasco used to say, Mr. Roboto, domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Are you still planning on visiting New Hampshire this fall? Absolutely, yes. Uh, because um, the goal this year is, go is, is visiting, besides the, the few states that I haven't seen or I haven't seen much of, I'm going to go like in Georgia. I'm gonna go to like I, I want to go. I'm 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 gonna go like like to uh, was it Cloudland Canyon, and you know like go, go to the, the some some of the spots where I haven't been yet. Same with Florida. So that's the idea. Anyways, have you ever tried the western lower part of Ontario, Canada, uh, Kenora? No, yet, not yet. Kenora, but that's probably gonna be 2021. Uh, Jason McGuinness, uh, question: Did you ever get it? Okay, that's the same question. Never mind. Okay. Um, uh, we just bought a Coleman RV. Holy, uh, Brabu, uh, love singing your jingle everywhere all the time. Holy and Janice. Uh, well, thank you so much and congratulations on that Coleman. Try North Beach in San Agustin. Wonderful campground. I've heard that yeah, somebody I know was there recently, and I've heard that place is great. Yes. 
See you in 2021 in Quartzsite. I'm Freya Wagner. Comment, my husband David and I love your videos and your concerts. Thank you. You're welcome. And key, key ace ways question. When are you uh, thinking about going to Glacier and North Dakota? We are hoping for Yellowstone in July using your video as a guide. I'm thinking July as well. I'm thinking July as well. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Armando Correa, thank you so much for that super chat. IPB, APA beer on me. See you soon. See you soon. Hopefully, if they don't cancel the, the Pennsylvania, the, the Hershey, Pennsylvania, I'll be, sure. I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be in your neck of the woods soon. Jim, let me hear, uh, read Jim again. Ohio did not put a 50% limit like the others. Just have to put protection in place. Hope that social distance rules are able to relax. Pending tests being done now, what uh, percentage has antibodies? Yeah, apparently Nomadic Fanatic is uh, is immune now. Uh, and uh, for a second there, for a split second, I was thinking of selling <laughs> face masks with like free my RV or something like that. or, or But I'm not going to do it. And uh, Mark Rourke, thank you so much for that super chat. Love your show, Robert. Wishing you, uh, our son... Adrian, happy birthday. And my beautiful wife, Leigh, uh, 24 years, happy anniversary. Uh, Aiden, happy birthday, Aiden. Happy birthday, dear Aiden. Happy birthday to you. All right, Kate McGuinness, thank you so much for that super chat. And Geotech HD, thank you so much for that super chat. Again, thanks for all the great videos, Robert. Please give this traveler a shout out. He's uh, one subscriber shy of a milestone. Cheers. Really, this traveler? What? Everybody subscribe to, to, to this traveler. I'm Brandon Stargell. I'm trying to get a spot at Moccasin Creek State Park. In Clarksville, Georgia. It's Georgia's smallest state park and has some great hiking trails and waterfalls. Cool. Yeah, I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet uh, for, uh, for, for Georgia, but... Uh, Will Reipard, question. Can us normal folks do the video calls with you? At one of these days, I'm going to do... Uh, 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 um, that that uh, whereby I used to do I'm, I'm gonna go maybe I use the one that has the dock that, that that a lot of people are using and f for that one I can I could I can do a video chats and um I'm, and I'm thinking of doing one this Sunday for the members and the patrons just you know we, you, we have to keep the 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 the, 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 the zoom group uh, kind of small ish so if you are a, a member sometimes the members don't see it I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a, a link at some point uh, for you guys oh man all of a sudden i have a some allergy it's weird in any case mary callan they haven't canceled my north rim reservations for august yet rocky mountain national park seems to have a lottery system for entry also my itinerary. yeah colorado seems to be complicated about that I, i i was thinking of going by colorado a at some point that was one of my um alternate plans and i decided not to michelle k thank you so much for that for those Two super stickers. Cheers. Salud. And D C P L got my CD and sticker this week from Granada Hills, California. Well, I'm hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for 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 getting your CD and sticker. Did you enjoy the Henry Ford Museum tremendously? It's it's been one of the one of my favorite museums after probably after the this the the Air and Space, the Smithsonian in in DC. Uh, that Henry Ford Museum is amazing. I, I, I you know not only the cars and uh, and the trains and uh, and the historic stuff like they have Rosa Parks bus there and that kind of thing, but uh, you know they had all these. Uh, 
steam engines you know the the, the ginormous steam engines from from the the, the 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 19th century you know that's it's very cool uh neville montgomery from new zealand hello there jose piedra free my rv face mask yeah i was thinking about that but i don't know i don't know <laughs> and uh Okay, we got a reservation confirmed for the Withville, Virginia KUA. Love that. Yeah, that I, I actually stayed at the Walmart in Withville, Virginia when they still allowed it. My first road trip almost 10 years ago, and that was a uh... question, question. I've made five trips, um, Michigan to Arkansas. You should try it. <laughs> Uh, have you been to Pensacola, Florida, Pensacola Beach RV Resort? I haven't been to Pensacola yet. I've been very close, but, you know, it, something always happens that, um, that yeah, Pensacola eludes me. Maybe this year, maybe, maybe if, if I get that reservation in the, uh, uh, in the panhandle, I'm going to do like the whole panhandle, maybe. Uh, G Photo Girl, can you do a video about how you work your drone? I've been thinking about it, and it, it's it's always one of those things that those kind of videos are kind of harder to make but i i am going to uh, make a video one of these days about how i make the videos in general you know my whole process uh, of you know you know about doing my voiceover i write myself a script how i do uh, the 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 research before and after and that sort of thing yeah definitely shout out our name heart pat and jj we bought an rv because of you congratulations and randy moore thank you so much for that super chat and uh, um, i miss old kia i miss old kia once in a while too thank you so much for that super chat ipa cheers to you robert from savannah yeah i mean i might be going to savannah soon believe it or not you know, my plan is not to have a plan. Um, everything open here last two weeks. Our governor says nothing to worry about. Uh, when Trump says something crazy, you have to wonder. Yeah, nothing to see here, man. Uh, Miami, is, Miami is opening up uh, May 20th, uh, partially. Uh, CLT, Traveling Rubber, my Build More video will be coming out next week. Hmm, you know, you're not supposed to take video there. Not that. That would ever stop us, but yeah. <laughs> uh, Gustavo Coraza, hi Robert from Jacksonville. All right, I'm uh, film lm seventy seven. Gotta order a few stickers for my RV. Yeah, travelingrobert.com slash merch. So check that out. Traveling over Arkansas is AR. I think they said Alaska. AK, I'm so sorry. You know, sometimes I get those two confused. Uh, but yeah, Alaska to... Okay, I see. Um, uh, Greg Cranham, thank you so much for that super chat. And by, by your by your monetary currency, I, I wild guess. You're coming to us from the United Kingdom. So thank you so much. Love your videos and music. Uh, uh, when is your next gig? Well, tomorrow I'm going to do uh, probably for, for a while the last... A concert uh, from here from the Minitini Lounge because I don't know I don't know uh, I don't know exactly if if I'm going to do something the following weekend. Uh, Patricia Kimberling, uh, hi from Columbus, Ohio. Watch your video. Stay well. Thank you so much. I can't wait to go back to Columbus, Ohio. Hey, Robert from Chicago. What other alcoholic beverages do you like besides beer? Well, I'm. I'm 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 kind of picky about the quality, but not picky about the source. You know, like um, if I'm gonna sing, uh, I'm gonna do either scotch or or cognac, you know, or brandy. But of course, I I if I'm in Kentucky, even if I'm not in Kentucky, I'll drink bourbon. Um, I'm not a great fan of tequila, but I I'll drink tequila on Cinco de Mayo, um, and. Uh, and of course, I'm, I come from the land of rum, so um, it has to be like one of those like Sacapa Centenario from, from uh, Guatemala, you know, one of those like very nice rums. Rudy Suarez, all right. Habla, Mr. Morales, saludos. Rudy Suarez, everybody say hello to Rudy. He used to be the drummer 
for Vista Alegre club band and uh, great, great uh, timbal player and, and drummer and musician here from Miami, from uh, like we say La Vieja Guardia, from like the, the old, uh, the old guard. Uh, the Red Jaguar, what's happened? Red Jaguar, man, I, I can't wait to, 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 to hang out with you again. Um, greetings from Curaçao. All right, you know, one of these days, I wanna, I wanna, and it's not as as easy uh, as um, as it would seem. But I would one day, I would love to do like an island hopping cruise through all the the islands of the Caribbean. I know Curaçao is more is more closer, like to Venezuela, of course. But yeah. Uh, Joe Van, we're going to have to try and catch your show from the campground next Friday. KOAs are open in Michigan. All right. Don't tell the governor. No, we won't. I won't tell him. I won't tell her if, if you don't. And, um, and uh, Red Jaguar, if all goes well, my channel will be up and running during the, U uh, during the YouTube get together at Pirate Land Campground, July 12th. All right, Red Jaguar. Can't wait to see uh, what you come up with, man. Uh, just buy extra batteries for that Sony uh, FDRX 3000, right? <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> Shirley Benoit, thank you so much for that super chat. Gotta go. Thank you for a great chat. Be safe. You too. Be safe. Thank you so much. And Gustavo Carraza, thank you so much for that super chat. Hey, Robert, say happy birthday to my wife, Marta. We love your videos. Hi, Marta. Happy birthday. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to keep my guitar closer, huh? Happy birthday, dear Marta. Happy birthday to you. All right. I, I, I'll leave it there for when I sing at the end of the show. And... Um, Viara, hola Robert, me encanta tu canal, saludos desde Jayalía. Oh, Jayalía, la ciudad que progresa. Hello, Jayalía. By the way, you guys, it's, it's, this city is uh, it's not a suburb, it's really its, its own city, We're just northwest of Miami. And uh, it's Jayalía, man. I'm telling you. I have a feeling everyone is, is going to Yellowstone in July. And you know, it, and, and Lisa uh, Ascherman, and something I, I read, I heard, I, I saw, uh, you know, Lolojo, Long, Long Honeymoon, they did a video. And there's one thing that they were very, uh, you know, this year is going to be one of those unique years because, you know, when you go to these national parks, let's just face it, I, I'd say 75% of the people there are, are foreign tourists. And this year, it's just going to be a domestic tourism. So it's going to be much, much uh, quieter, not, not, not as many crowds. So if the parks do open and we're able to, to visit them, this is going to be a unique opportunity. I mean, in, in, in that sense. Not that it's good or bad, but yeah. Uh, Mary Callan, are you editing the Michigan video right now? I remember when you thought it was going to come in February. <laughs> yeah, my, you know me. I'm the, the eternal optimist. Yeah, I, I closed the premiere. I was going to show you something, but yeah. I'm, I started editing Mi Michigan today, and it's going to begin with the Upper Peninsula. And, uh, and Daniel, and, and then, of course, Mackinac Island, and eventually the Henry Ford Museum and uh some other stuff daniel silovitz thank you so much for that super sticker what does it say how's it going it's going great <coughs> i don't know what's going on with me today um hi robert uh, from devin newell thank you so much for that super chat hi robert we have a reservation for lake Kissy kissimmee state park next weekend fingers crossed uh, thank you for letting us through another week um what I read from the, and, and check, make sure that they haven't canceled your reservation. Florida State Park started taking reservations as, as, as early as the 16th, but they are not going to open until the 20th. That's what I read today. Rudy Suarez, mucho talento, Robert. Thank you, gracias, Rudy. And uh, current travels. Uh, no, I, ne I never get your name right, man. And, and you've been a follower for like since, since, 
probably since Canada. <laughs> Um, uh, Crown the Travels and other stories. Happy belated, happy Mother's Day to mom, Morales, and wife. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, hopefully, my mom is still is still watching. And um, hi from Miami Lakes. So oh, Miami Lakes, cool. And Odalis Blanco. Hi, Robert. My husband says you are awesome. His name is Juan. Hey, Juan. And Red Jaguar, come visit us. At a Pirate Land Campground, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, July 11th through the 17th. Let me tell you something. If I don't make it, if I don't make it all the way to North Carolina, I might as well, you know, go that route. You know, we'll see. Uh, Katie Mori Morisiria, um, which has been the most exciting state you have visited? Oh, exciting state. Uh, it has to probably has to be um, exciting. I would say Utah. That's where I did Angels Landing, Atlanta RV Center. I love your videos, Robert. One of the few YouTubers that I can play over and over. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. And um, Patty Henry, thank you so much for that super chat. Hello from Open Sierra Vista, Arizona. I'm glad you're open. Yes, <clears throat> you know. Uh, in any case. Uh, tap channel gotta limit these chats to 300 people <laughs> because you are not able to handle all of us now oh 644 by now you know we're gonna do like 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 the supermarket and we're gonna make a line outside you know and um, you know for the sake of social distancing right only 300 people you know uh, half 50 percent capacity <laughs> i'm kidding of course and uh <clears throat> Uh, Jason McInnes, McGinnis, question, best quarantine meal that you have prepared at home? You know, I've been doing a lot on the Instant Pot, and I've been, uh, 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 since, I mean, let's face it, restaurants are not going to be fun for a while, because uh, especially I like to sit at the bar usually, if I'm by myself, and Ely is a bar person too, we, even, even if we were, we're together, we usually like to sit at the bar, it's a fast, usually faster service and it's more casual. And uh, bars may not be open, open for a while. So now I'm going to be cooking more in the RV. So I'm going to get you a lot more uh, cooking shows. I've been, I've been doing a lot of, uh, like in, in Cuban, we call them potaje. You know, like, like black beans and, and red kidney beans and, 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 and like Spanish style white beans. Tomorrow I'm going to make, probably going to make garbanzo beans, like, like from scratch. Not canned, but like, you know, dry beans. And uh, it's been a lot of fun trying to do all those things in the instant pot. So, yeah. Uh, I-76 toll road in Pennsylvania is $32. Yeah, I know. The Pennsylvania toll, tolls are like, uh, yeah, pretty bad. Uh, not as bad as the New Jersey Turnpike, though, I don't think. Uh, Bonnie Riggs, R Rizica, Robert, your channel is all the information you give to the viewers is wonderful you are such an amazing person thank you oh thank you thank you for watching and question where did you learn your cooking skills um a lot of it was by myself really and asking you know sometimes i ask you know my, my especially uh, my uh, the family on illy's side every, everybody is, is a great cook um and uh, sometimes, you know, I ask, you know, how do you make this? And then, you know, I'm not like like the, this uh, traditional Cuban uh, cook. You know, I, um, I, modi I every recipe I modify it and, and uh, do something different. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Will Rippard, uh, um, so if I donation $1 a month, can I get the video call? Um, on, yeah, on on Patreon, yeah, definitely, absolutely. I'm 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 I'm, not, I'm doing one like once a month or so. When are you coming to South Padre Island, Rojo Cam? I don't know. It's it's January, a good time to go. I would love to go in in January. Mary, Mary Callan, having my own kitchen with me is what makes RV so attractive to me. And absolutely, you know, when when I go traveling, you know, if I go to to a, an area that that has a um, a unique cuisine, you know, like, for example, Louisiana. Uh, I mean, every, every I, you think about it, every area has a unique cuisine. Um, I like to try the local dishes, but I also like to, to cook inside my RV, especially if I'm, like, somewhere remote. So, um, or, or on areas, like, let's face it, 
If you go to Quartzsite, Arizona, it's not like the culinary mecca of the world or anything like that. So um, places like that, it's probably best to cook in your RV. Bear Kitty, you have an oven now, so you will be able to expand your cooking. Yes, I probably will. And I have a... Uh, and I have an inverter that will probably be able to run the instant pot as well. So I, I can I can do the instant pot while boondocking as well. Uh, let's go, Luna. Say hello to my husband, Hector. Hey, Hector. Hector. Hello there. And I lost. Surprise him with a big hello. Big hello to Hector. And uh, Yahaira Marchetti. Uh, Fort De Soto Park is open in Tampa Bay. Yeah, that, that's one of my favorite places. That's, of course, that's a county park. That's uh, Is that Hillsborough County or is that... Uh, I forget. Uh, question from Dylan Reynolds. Are you planning to visit Toronto, Ontario in 2020? Probably 2021 because the border is still closed. Uh, Andy Barley question. Robert, uh, we are planning on coming down to Sebring, a late placid area. Do you know any good RV parks? You know, I never quite stayed uh, there. They have a thousand trails uh, in Wachula, which is kind of close. But I I've never re um I never really stayed there. I stayed at the no. But yeah, there, there's one. I have to look up them. I have to look it up in the map. That I haven't stayed there, but I've heard great things. Oh man, this computer is kind of slow. I'm not gonna be able to to show you now, am I? Hold on. Sebring. Highland Hammock State Park. I hear that place is really good, but I haven't been there personally, so uh, take uh, that with a grain of salt, of course. 675 of you watching right now. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for being here. And uh, 7 p.m., I might have a second beer today because it's, you know, I'm having one of those nights that I'm like really, really excited to be here, man. Um, Love your new RV. Thank you so much, Val Valerie Harding. More cooking videos coming. Yes, Bill P., absolutely. Um, congrats, Juliet. I don't know what, ha what, what happened to Juliet. Just retired, ready to hit the road in my RV. Congratulations to you. Question, question. Well, you were, when you headed to Alaska? Probably next year. I mean, this year, it's, um, it's going to be a logistics nightmare. And uh, I don't want to do it. Thank you, Lucky Duck Productions moderator. By the way, no, no trolls today, huh? That's it's been kind of a like an easy day for 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 the moderators, which is good. I mean, uh, just made 15 shirts with my circuit while listening to you. So much better than watching or listening to the TV. Oh, the TV. I, you know, I don't watch much TV anymore. Uh, Trace's channel, traveling Robert. Be careful with that oven. The temperature. Markings are very hard to read on the knob. Yeah, and, and it I already made a pizza in there and it burned, so I'm gonna buy one of those. Everybody recommended that I buy one of those um uh, pizza uh oven, no um pizza stones, right? That's what they're called. Okay, Rebecca Hernandez says Highland Hammocks is great, and I might stay there now on my way north. I mean if if I if I can't find any any um like like um uh, yeah, that would be a good like midway stop between Miami and whatever else else I go. It's like what a three hour, two hour, two and a half hour drive from here. DXCPL, thank you so much for that super chat. When will you get traveling Robert baseball caps? Whenever either I learn how to use Adobe Illustrator or I can get someone to help me with Adobe Illustrator so I can I can design the 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 the, the thing because I I have to make my logo into a vector file and something is the specifications are, are kind of um pretty strict because it, they're embroidered the, the one that the ones that i want to make um alicia burton wow we're having a tornado weather wind and rain right now the fire station trucks are all going off big lightning thunder lights in upstate new york oh man be, be safe up up there and uh, it, it um it, it it was pretty bad uh, today here, but it was just torrential rain. But torrential, like we haven't seen in a while. Uh, Mark, thank you so much for that super chat, number one fan, yay! All right, thank you. Mm. <clears throat> I have a person call me. All right, Rudy, I'll call you. I'll call you tomorrow. 
embroidered, yes, I, and uh, and we can do that. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, caps. If it's a one size fit all, I could um, I I could ship it myself probably. Uh, and Mike Michael Sullivan keep the stone in the oven to warm up when the oven preheats. They'll sometimes crack if you put them in cold. Okay, yeah, I'll keep them in there. Alex, you missed me, but I am not a troll. Just a pita. <laughs> ah, that's cool. Frank Hampel, uh, this vivid. Okay, we'll be back in the fall from all these snowbirds coming back down. Snowbirds stay up there. Uh, I don't know. We'll, uh, I guess we'll take it with take, take it as, you know, one day at a time. One day at a time. Ever been to Hocking Hills near Columbus, Ohio? Not really. Where was that park where we stayed uh, with Jim and Barb? Uh, it wasn't there. Um, question. Uh, you were a musician on a cruise ship? Shows. Uh, no, I was never a musician. Actually, I missed that. Oh, brother. On a cruise ship? Shows. In New Orleans, no, I, I actually I, I was a DJ on a cruise ship once, but I was never a musician on a cruise ship. Uh, Rambling with Phil, in one of your old videos, you were Robertico. What's the story behind that? Well, Robertico is just the Spanish uh, word like Bobby, like Robert, Bobby, Robert, Robertico. That's it's just uh, what, what they you know they call us when, when we're little. And that was like kind of my artistic name, you know, when I when I would present myself at a nightclub, I was Robert Tico, just because uh, Robert didn't, I don't know, didn't, in, in the, I guess in the, in the milieu of the salsa, Miami salsa scene, it, it, it wasn't as, um, I don't know. And uh, then I started my, my videos as traveling with Robert Tico. And uh, that's the story. Uh, let me let me get to the super chats here. Wow, Robert Hubbard, uh, thank you so much for that super chat. It's uh, it's the final countdown after seven. One more beer. Cheers, my friend. Thank you. Yes, and uh, hold on. Might as well. It's Friday, and I'll make it a session IPA. And I recently learned. This is something I learned recently that the session IPA has less uh, alcohol content. So that's what I'll do. Ted and Doris Martinez. Thank you so much for that super chat. Saludos, Robert. We just received our first RV sticker for our Geo Pro. Thanks. From Fort Riley, Kansas. Mucho éxito. Salud. Gracias a ustedes. Thank you so much. And congratulations on your new RV. And uh, we're going to do this session IPA. It's like only 5% alcohol. So that way, you know, I don't uh, get too tipsy here. Oh, I used to watch a YouTuber called the Tipsy Bartender. That, that was a crazy show. Goombas! Thank you so much for that super chat. Cheers, Robert and Pelican Heads. My pandemic haircut was a success. Congratulations. I haven't done mine yet, as you can probably tell. If next week I show up with a, with a hat... You know what happened. Uh, RV Weekends, uh, Traveling Robert. Uh, we are currently using a microphone from the video game Rock Band. What kind of microphone are you using? It works so well that we can hear you swallowing your beverage. Oh, this is a... I've had this thing for almost 20 years, by the way. I, I opened my first studio in the year 2000, so probably 20 years by now, exactly. Um they don't make this anymore. This is an Audio Technica. I mean, this model, they don't make it anymore. This is an Audio Technica. At the time, it was like $400, which at the time for me, that was a lot of money. And it still would be. So that's what I'm using. I, I was using the Fifine um, USB, but this is quieter and it has a, you know, it's it's a good microphone. Rad, Radus Tufarak. Thank you so much for becoming a Chief Pelican Head. Thank you. Adrian Begay, any idea when you'll be coming back to Colorado? We have great IPAs. I know. Hopefully next year. I doubt it. I doubt I'm coming back this year. Unless things like, you know, the, 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 the this virus evaporates and everything opens up and everything goes back to normal. I doubt I'm gonna go back to Colorado this year. I, I was I was toying with the idea a couple of weeks ago, but I don't know now. 
So, yeah. <clears throat> eh, hi from the Isle of Man. Hello, Lee Faulkner from the Isle of Man. One of these days, man. One of these days. Uh, Cuvée du Chateau beer is even better than Chimay. I, I have to look for it. Uh, we stayed at Alum Creek State Park in, uh, yes, in Delaware, Ohio. Absolutely, yes. I remember now. And that video is coming up soon. That video is coming up soon. Question from uh, Joe Dovinch. Uh, Joe Domvince. Where do you like to eat over on Miami Beach? You know, I haven't gone to Miami Beach in like two years. So, I don't know. It's all super touristy. It's all super touristy. And I I couldn't tell you. We, we, don't, we don't, I mean, I, when I was young, when I was young... But um, I haven't been there in a while, to be honest. They have a bunch of t new trendy restaurants that I wouldn't know about. And uh, yeah. Uh, what kind of drum do you know? Uh, um, do you do you have? And, and how hard to fly? Love the aerial views. I have the, the old DJI Mavic Pro. It was the first, the second, actually. The first was the, the GoPro Karma. The second foldable drone. And... Uh, I mean, you get the hang of it. Those things, nowadays, they practically fly themselves. And the, the, the newer the drone, the better, because now they have sensors all over the place, so it's almost impossible to crash them. John Chucker from Waterbury, Connecticut. Uh, nice to see you today. How are you feeling on this evening? I'm okay. I'm 80%, 90% there. And um, uh, will you do another premiere this coming week? I'm, I'm, I'm Not this coming week. I'm going to do another premiere premiere probably the following Wednesday and that's gonna be the Upper Peninsula video most likely if I do a video on a Wednesday it's gonna be a premiere it, it's kind of hard because since I publish uh, on, on Sundays at 7 a.m. it's kind of hard to do a premiere at 7 a.m. nobody's gonna be up on Sunday at 7 a.m. but I, I do it mainly so 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 the, the people in, in Europe and the, in Asia can also see it and then it trickles down into the Americas and uh, and I don't know, I've been doing it like that for so long that... Thank you, Ricardo Bernardino, for that super sticker. Thank you so much. Uh, Mark Drenning, hello there. It's been a while. How are you? And uh, then the vintage are here. They, they say you can't go home again. That rings true in some ways. Yeah, that's uh, absolutely true. I think so. You know, home changes. Home is, uh, I guess, that's, I don't know. Uh, drone shots are awesome. Thank you so much. And um, Stephen Polly do the annual Hocking Hills winter hike with us. It's a campground right there. Adam Bruce, abuser. Uh, sorry, I was late to the chat. How is your week? Week is very nice so far. Uh, I've done a lot of work. I've... Um, Actually, this week has been kind of slow. I've been kind of, you know, sometimes you have a lot of productivity and sometimes you don't. This week hasn't been like the most productive, but I, you know, I'm, I'm getting my stuff done. Uh, Dennis F., thank you so much for that super chat. I love your channel and the new Micro Mini. You inspire me to travel the country. I have visited 45 of the 50 states. Um, do you have any plans to travel internationally again? I did. Uh, of course, this year I was going to go to Canada, but... Probably not with the current uh, situation, uh, but I I I, I do want to go to Europe next year. We'll see. But I I do want to go to Europe, uh, rent an RV maybe in Madrid, and uh, go all the way to Italy and back to Madrid. I don't know. You know, I I would like to to start it in Spain for some reason. Tim 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 Canarday, thank you so much for that super chat. Hi hey, Robert, well, hope you are well, my friend. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty well. I'm well. It's all good, you know, get, just getting that itch to hitch, man. And uh, it's that thing, you know, I see that that brand new RV out there that I've been a, um, and I get distracted with, with the chat. And uh, I really, I really want to, I really want to hit the road uh, as soon as it is uh, allowed and safe. And it's kind of, it's, it's kind of getting there. So... Yeah, I saw Nomadic Fanatic bought a house. I just want to buy a piece of land for now. And uh, that I might be doing fairly soon. Uh, uh, 
what is the worst date you have visited? I don't know. There's no worst state. No, I don't. I don't. I can't tell. I can't tell right now. Uh, top channel. Hey, Robert, what's your tops? Uh, Top five places in Florida. I've heard good things about Anna Maria Island. You know, I've, I don't think I've ever been to Anna Maria Island, but um, you know, I really liked Venice Venice Beach, Florida. That that was like the the last place that I uh, that I visited, and of course, Destin is one of my favorite places, and. Um, I'm trying to think. Matt Lachey. Matt Lachey Island is also awesome. A, uh, up up train man's girl. Thank you so much for becoming a chief pelican head. Thank you. Uh, do you prefer Arizona or New Mexico? I prefer Arizona because I think it's more varied and I've seen more of Arizona. But uh, tomorrow I might fall in love with New Mexico if I go back. So, and uh, I, I like New Mexico. I do, I've just seeing more of Arizona. If uh, Freya Wagner Marsh, thank you so much for that super chat. Thanks you. Thanks for a great live chat. Please say hi to my husband David. Hello David. And uh, Kimberly Jones Zalsks. No, hold on. Zekali, my husband uh, like my husband likes your t-shirts. Thank you. Yeah, I've been collecting them. This one is for, of course from, from Houston. And Max Trans 67, thank you so much for that super chat. Hi, Robert. Will you be doing your famous concert tomorrow? Most likely. I'm going to say yes. And if anything happens and I have to cancel, I'll post it uh, on the channel. But yeah, I'm going to do it. Jim, California for taking your food. Uh, for us Buckeyes, they, they would say uh, the state up north. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, no, Calif no, California redeems itself with its natural beauty and other things. So um, I wouldn't call California the worst states by, by any means. Do you use Google Earth uh, and World Camps to do research? I use Google Maps a lot, and you know I use the 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 three D the, 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 the you know the, the the satellite and three D features. I, I haven't used the World Camps. No, I haven't used that one. Might be a good idea. Question, do you re recommend Alabama Jacks? It's an experience I would go once. It's, it, can, it kind of has like that dive bar kind of feel. But it's it, the music is great. The drinks are good. And the, the one thing is, you know, that uh, a, a, a lot of people smoking, you know, it's, it's outdoors. So if 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 that bothers you, that could be a, a bad thing. Other other than that, it's it's a unique place. It has a great character, and you can arrive in your boat or by by road, and uh, you should experience it at least once. Uh, Kim Tobias, a question. My hobby. Uh, John and I love your videos and concerts. Uh, we're longtime followers. Uh, when why did you change to traveling, Robert, from road nomad? My birthday is Tuesday. Cheers. Actually, Road Nomad was a short-lived idea. <clears throat> the, <coughs> the YouTube channel, it was always called Traveling Traveling Robert, which I just came up with it. You know, it, it was originally my it was originally a video podcast called Traveling with Robert Tico. As I said earlier, you know, Robert Tico was my name, my 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 musician name. And uh, I created the channel Traveling Robert. And luckily, I created the, the same Twitter and the same Facebook and the same everything, more or less, at the same time. And then I came up with this bright idea. Oh, maybe I should call it Road Nomad. It kind of, it, nobody seemed to like Road Nomad. It re didn't roll off the tongue. Nobody seemed to remember it. And after a year or two of Road Nomad, I said, you know what? This is not going anywhere. We're going back to Traveling Robert. And that's it. And uh, apparently it was a good decision. Um, uh, KS California, comment, exit, I, I exit is another great app. Yes, I, I have it. Uh, I've never, I never use it, but I have it. <laughs> when you are on the interstate and it tells you what food and gas are approaching. Uh, yes, I have that one. The only thing is that for, for, for I exit, you need a copilot that, you know, 
and sometimes since I travel uh, solo, hopefully not for long, um, but sometimes if you're driving, it's just easier to to talk to Google and ask Google. Um, it's safer, you know, if you're moving. So that's why I don't use it as much. Piddle Brill, I wish you do, would do two or three minutes outtake of things that went wrong or it was funny mistakes and that would be great. I might do that. I mean, the, the only thing I, and of course it's YouTube, that would really mess up the YouTube algorithm because it, it would mess up my view time in Google, in YouTube. And uh, and from a, from a technical standpoint, it's, it's not a good idea to, to make very short videos. But I could post them on Facebook or, or other places. And I might do that or on Twitter. I, I, we'll see. Ashley Cruz, thank you so much for that super chat. Can you say hi to Evelyn, Evelyn and Jesse? Hello there. Yeah, they love you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I prefer traveling Robert to Road Nomad. Good decision. Thank you. I appreciate. I, I'm glad. I'm glad you you agree, and everybody else seems to agree. Yeah, that was a, a short-lived uh, decision. Jason McGuinness, a question: What state has the best rest stops? Free coffee is always a good start. But uh, supposedly Washington has free coffee, but I I could I could never get it. Uh, the the Louisiana Welcome Center has the best free coffee, but probably the best rest uh, stops. I'm trying to think. What was the state where every single rest stop had a dump station? Was it Georgia? It was in Georgia. But Washington also the rest areas, but there are not as many. But you know what I like? In Texas, there are many, many rest areas and they have rest areas. They have picnic areas and they have all these other pullouts. And uh, and I like them. And, and they allow overnight parking, by the way. Uh, Nash Ruk... How do you pronounce that? Rukwi? Uh, thank you so much for that super chat. Cheers. Have an IPA on me. Love your channel. I want to get my mug. How do I order it? I put a link on the YouTube, on the Facebook group, but let me put a link here real quick. Let me go to uh, uh, where are my listings? And what? Wow, wow, twenty-three mugs uh, we've sold already. And this is the address if you want to buy a mug. Let me copy and paste it into the chat here. There, Brad West and Texas has Bucky's. Yes, uh, absolutely. Uh, and I and I know people who drive semis, like my friend Jim. They don't like Bucky's, but since I drive a passenger car, that that's the 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 mug right there. That's what it looks like. So if you guys want to check it out, that's the mug. All right, I'm going to start wrapping this up soon here because um, I'm getting I'm getting kind of hungry. But let me let me answer a couple more questions. Then we're going to sing a song, and uh, and go home. Um, let me see here. Ohio Turnpike has RV lots in the rest areas. Yeah, and I can figure out. So, so I, I like those rest areas that have a, a semi truck area. And then they have like a, a, an RV area. And uh, is it the Mississippi Welcome Center? They have like pull through sites for RVs. That I, I spent the night there once and that was awesome. Have you been to any parks in Texas? I've been to that park. It's called Seminole Canyon. It's right by the Mexican border and I did a hike. But, um, and I've been to Shriner Park in in. In Junction, Texas, they allow three nights free camping. Uh, Robert uh, from okay, Mark Drennan, Florida Welcome Center, free OJ and grapefruit juice. Yes, absolutely. Florida Welcome Center has the free orange juice, which is really cool too. Uh, yeah, Florida, it's it's, it's a cool state. Uh, I'm glad it's uh, it's my state of residence for sure. Uh, Robert, I'm not even into RVs, but I love your show. If you ever come uh, to Lowell, uh, Massachusetts. 
I am going to buy you a whole growler of excellent navigation brewery IPA. And you can boondock easy right near it. All right. That would be cool. Thank you. And Scott, thank you so much for that super chat. Singles RV group. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, Radu. Robert, uh, we received a Cafe Bustelo we bought on Amazon this week. We should be good for a while. Thanks, my friend. No, you're welcome. And uh, uh, sausage gravy, what? I always thought that Road Nomad was the name for the videos when you had long hair. No, I kept the name Road Nomad until like... Oh, I can't remember right now when I changed it. I think it was on the Mount Dora video around there. It was uh, probably after a year uh, with Minitini the trailer. Um, yeah. Uh, Bob Leach, I'm sure Traveling Rubber has, has while driving on the Palmetto Expressway here in Miami. What did I do on the Palmetto? What did they... <laughs> I've driven there quite a few times. But uh, now, of course... Ever been scared for your life while RVing? Actually, more than the Palmetto, sometimes it's I-95 coming back to Miami. And I'll tell you why. Because when you live in Miami and you're here, you get used to it. And you, and you know what to expect. But when you've been uh, out there, uh, you know, in the rest of the country for two months or three months, you come back here and uh, you're not used to it. So, yeah. Uh, Mark Drennan, maybe offer a cup with Old Key. I'm gonna get, my, I might make one with Old Key. Although I, I don't really, I don't, I really wanna, uh, you know, put the past behind us and the Old Key. Like I, I might do one with Old Key, and I'm gonna do one with the new 1708. Uh, Bob Leach, Robert, uh, name three things you love about the 1708 and three things you don't like. Three things I love. I love the the. Although take that with a grain of salt, I only driven it. Uh, I've only been in it for six days. I'm uh, not even four days as I uh, returned from from uh, Indiana, from Middlebury. But um, I love the height. I love the it toes great. I love the interior colors, and I love the, the extras that Winnebago installed for me, like the, the having that lithium battery and that inverter and that thing. It's it's kind of like a, an experimental system at this point. Sometimes it, it has glitches. But I, I like being able to run the, the microwave and uh, the, those things. What I don't like, I'm trying to think here. Um, uh, I don't like that the, that the oven will burn your pizza unless I, I, I'm going to try with that uh, uh, pizza, pizza stone. But um, that I don't like. I don't like that the, the bug screens are not removable. And uh, I don't like that they replaced some of the drawers with, like, you know, just compartments that you open. And, uh, you know, drawers, uh, in my opinion, are more convenient. But that's about it. I'm sure there are other things that I like and dislike, but uh, if you limit it to three, that might be it. Thank you, Dan, the vintage RVers and Krum, the travels. A traveling mullet sounds enticing if the barber stays closed. Hey, I might I might let it grow again, you know, who knows? Luis Rivera, I want the CD with the song free in my RV. Travelingrobert.com slash merch. Does the new Mini Tini 2 have a 30 pound LP tanks? Yes, you know, it has the two 20 pounds, which I like because the 20 pounders you can exchange them at any Walmart or Home Depot. And, uh, you know, sometimes you, you can't find a place that will fill them up. And in a pinch, if you are in a place that you know where you, where you really need it, it it's 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 uh, another, it's more expensive to exchange, but it's a, it's a convenience to have. Where have you had bad experiences on the road besides uh, Durango, Colorado, um, Horizon City, Texas, where those kids started jumping on my rear bumper, 
And uh, one night that I spent in near Columbia, South Carolina, where it was kind of a sketchy neighborhood. And also one night uh, south of Macon, Georgia, it was kind of a loud place, but not, not a bad experience per se. You know, the only place I've, I've ever felt unwelcome was that KOA in, in, in north of uh, Durango. Um, um, Michelle Contreras I saw your Albuquerque video loved it I lived there all my life and I've been on the, on the Sandia tram yeah I, I can't wait to go back to Albuquerque I really like that city and and uh, probably because I've been watching you know like Better Call Saul and before that uh, Breaking Bad but yeah I know it's a city with character and there's a lot to see around it and uh, and great food there and also in um, in uh, north in, in Santa Fe also Great area. Unique, unique culture for sure. Uh, Jason Berger, and where is that map link at? You mean the one with the with the closed and open states? Let me let me get that for you again. I'll put a link in the chat here real quick. Oh, 731 and uh now is the time. Why is this thing not pasting? Yeah, this this old Mac is on its last leg. And I was hoping Apple would make uh, the 14-inch, the but they didn't. Uh, Ricardo Bernardino, where can I get a sticker? Travelingrubber.com slash merch. It's right there. Just click on the add to cart link and um, yeah. Hi, Robert, would you do anything larger, like a 2306? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe later in life, um, if I decide to live, a, you know, it's, it's slower and stay at the, same, at the same spot for a week or two. You never know. I mean, our travel styles are, are going to change throughout the years. And, and, and whenever that happens, I might be even go up to a 20, 25. Yeah. But um, for now... I, I I like to stay, you know, small, nimble. I, I'm able to to get almost anywhere and do U-turns and that kind of thing. Uh, Dylan Reynolds, uh, are people gonna start calling 2020 a year without a summer? I don't know, man. But uh, if you saw that movie uh, with the aliens, I think this year is gonna be called the year the Earth stood still. And uh, I don't know if it's going to be without a summer. We're going to have a summer. It's just, it's just going to be a different summer. Um, what show do you like better? Better Call, Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul? I think Breaking Bad was better. It's the original. It's, it's like comparing uh, A New Hope with uh, The Return of the Jedi. You know, A New Hope is always going to be like, or... No, let's not talk about 1, 2, and 3. But um, it's that kind of thing, right? Um, Red Jaguar, would you like a split hitch receiver so you can carry a bike? Actually, I would. Hey, maybe, maybe, maybe when we meet, uh, when we meet up uh, in in Myrtle Beach or somewhere else, um, we can get together if if you still have it. Yeah, if, yeah, that would be cool because sometimes I like I like to travel with a bike, and I did a couple of times. Uh, early in the life of Minitini One, and then I noticed that that bumper wasn't rated. Actually, that would that actually probably voided the warranty. <laughs> but yeah, uh, do you have any pets from Jason McGinnis? No, I don't have any pets. Uh, I don't mind pets, but um, for travel, you know, it wouldn't be fair to the pet, and uh, it would limit uh, the travel possibilities uh, sometimes. So, um, not not for now. Uh, any tip for someone who wants to start RV Live? Saludos de Puerto Rico. Saludos. Uh, just started, man. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how feasible it is in Puerto Rico. I'm, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know. Do you guys have the, uh, RV parks in Puerto Rico? I don't think so. But, um, you know, start... Unless you want to do full timing, start as 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 uh, cheaply as as easily as you can, and uh, if if you if you're thinking of full timing, of course they always say buy your third RV first. But 
in 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 this case and a full time SRV we're talking about a 45 foot uh, diesel pusher and um, and that's that's definitely a way to go but that's not my style and if you just want to do weekends and stuff get something well built as as uh, inexpensive as possible rubber shell thank you so much for that super chat leaving alabama monday headed to montana well good luck let us know how it goes everybody who, who travels let me know how it goes because I'm, i'm kind of scared to to start crossing state lines and getting too far away from home just in case they start rolling back things you know do you know when state parks and national parks will open Uh, national parks it's up to them probably sometime in june some of them are partially open like like excuse me like the smoky mountains and state by state you know some of them are, are open uh, on the 20th on the 20th a lot of things are opening on the on may 20th uh, um, doo -doo -doo. the expanse series on amazon is excellent i haven't seen it i haven't seen that one yet Uh, Jim, Barb and I love most animals, but it takes too much freedom away. It's nice to go out there and when we want only to worry about ourselves or our adult friends. Yeah, that, that, that's my philosophy exactly with, with pets. I, I wouldn't mind having a dog or a cat or, or a parrot or, or an iguana, whatever. But um, if, if, if I want to go on a long hike, you know, it's, or going to places, you know, it wouldn't be fair to the pet to leave him in the, in the RV. That's just the way I feel. Um, Bob Leach, so if you were going to choose a part to take along with you, a pet to take along with you, what would you choose? Something low maintenance? Like a, like a total? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Oregon has some pretty neat rest areas. Yeah, I, I did. I, Oregon, I only did the coast, and I, I want to go to the, the England, Oregon a little more next time but yeah i i i, I do um looks like the koa in durango is for sale i hope the new owners better represents the people in town i i, I really hope so too i mean it's um it's all good uh <laughs> then the vintage rv i had a dane shepherd mix that was way better than my kids on a trip i bet <laughs> adam buser can i tow a travel trailer with a toyota Prius, you, you're joking, right? I it's probably not a good idea. Um, but people in Europe, they they tow little trailers with with almost that. So you might be able to get away with it with towing like a like a small, tiny teardrop. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Uh, Jeff, Shay, thank you so much for that super chat. Hey, Robert, my dad passed away Wednesday from COVID-19. He loved Gloria Stefan. Maybe you can play a little something in his memory. Oh, man, I'm sorry for your loss. And um, I wish I knew anything from Gloria, but I don't. I don't really know any Gloria Stefan songs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss, man. Uh, you're ready for hurricane season. I'm always ready. I mean, it's here in South Florida, we're kind of used to it. I mean, and some of us uh, take kind of a maverick approach to it. Maybe we shouldn't, we shouldn't but um, we survived Andrew in 92, which was really bad. I mean, we were not in the, in the, in the eye of the storm, but um, it's one of those things. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. We might uh, lose uh, some we might get some property damage if, if if in the rare case that the eye of the storm goes through miami or through this area of miami because you know hurricane is like a big tornado it, it i mean it, it'll do really 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 bad damage probably within a within a 10 mile radius and then it tapers off and uh, it's much less uh jim traveling robert uh know of a few from ohio that went to florida in the past few weeks And it made it down back to Ohio, no problems. My niece just made it down this week. Over driving. Okay. Will you do the five point leap like Matt for your followers? I don't know if I can. I mean, Matt is very flexible. <laughs> 
All right, everybody. I do. I do uh, tow a small U-Haul with a Subaru wagon across the country. Yeah, they, I mean, towing guys. It's all about the weight, and uh, make sure you can. Uh, Miami Sun Machine, bad boys. Yeah, you know what? Which one I like about about Miami Sun Machine, and I might, uh, you know, like learn it at some point for maybe for 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 one of these days for a concert that one that goes oh hey, oh hey. oh, hey, oh uh. <laughs> time to change check the generators in florida yeah absolutely i have the i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, probably warm up my two i have two generators back there and i'm probably gonna turn them on this weekend i know the heck out of my neighbors and make sure they work because one of the two I'm gonna take probably the the champion because I don't have a, I don't have an easy start on the on the new trailer. I'll probably take the champion when I go on the, on the trip. And uh, yeah, Dylan, you're leaving. Bye, bye, Dylan. Have a have a nice weekend. And uh, yeah, let me actually. Yeah, by the way, uh, Lucky Dog, uh, uh, once again, sorry for your loss, man. That's um, that's bad. Uh, would you meet up near Fredericksburg, Virginia? I, I, I'm as soon as this passes, I'm gonna be doing meetups pretty much almost everywhere I go. As as you know, as you probably know, I had meetups planned. Uh, actually, I had meetups planned in Central Florida. I had meetups planned in Kansas City. I had meetups planned meetups planned in, in in Des Moines, Iowa. Was it Des Moines or Iowa City? One of the two. <clears throat> and uh, and I do I plan I plan to don't forget to change the oil on the generator. Yes, I, I at least I will check. But yeah. Hold on. Ah. I'm gonna start wrapping this up, guys. It's been great chatting with you guys for uh, an hour and 42 minutes today. I know I was gonna make keep it long today. 678 of you watching, which is actually quite awesome. This is uh, almost the peak, right? Well, we picked at almost 700, but we never we didn't we didn't quite make it to 700. Yeah, we did. We did make it to 700 at around 7:10 p.m. That was our pick. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. It's uh, it's it's always um, it's always a lot of fun. And uh, meet up as planned for Des Moines yesterday. Yeah, it, was it yesterday? Yes, it was. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been it's been one of those years where all our plans, um, you know. Another time, another time, and I mean the Des Moines meetup might still happen. It might happen in early July, late June. I'll 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 keep you guys posted because uh, Louis A, your birthday is tomorrow. We gotta sing happy birthday to you, man. You know it's it's already tomorrow in in China. Brandon Sturgill will always look forward to this every week. Yeah, me too, man. It's, uh, this is so much fun. And Gibson, hello, good evening. Andrew and Monica, have a good evening. Stay safe. Okay, double feature tomorrow, 7 a.m. I'm going to release the Iowa video. And... Uh, um, we're gonna see the bridges of Madison County, and then we're gonna do the the state capitol, and uh, that's about it. And then on Sunday, we're going to Minneapolis, Minnesota, and uh, and then talking about hurricanes, that's gonna be the big hurricane, the two detour of the trip. Tomorrow Saturday evening, of course, I'm gonna do uh, the concert on my other channel. I'm, I'm sure CLT Mini Tini Lounge, he, he already put the, the link. You're so good, man, uh, uh, Alex. And um, Paper City Gamer Jeff, uh, thank you so much for that super chat. Have a great weekend, you too. And 
and patrons and members stay tuned for sunday we might do a, 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 a one of those zoom um virtual meetups so thank you so much for being here and we're gonna end it with uh, this tune that goes like this i'm writing riding in my rv wherever i want to be because i'm free in my rv yeah i'm riding riding in my rv wherever be because I'm free in my RV everybody thank you so much for watching happy birthday to everybody actually I'm gonna sing a collective happy birthday to all the people who are having birthdays this week happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Pelican Heads. Happy birthday to you. Good night, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching always. And um, and I'll see you tomorrow at the Minitini Lounge. And if not, next Friday, same channel, same time, right here on YouTube. Thank you for watching. And... Uh, Stay safe out there and thank you. See you on the road.